Hey there, I am one of the developers from Aurora Devs, and I'm very excited to show you our new plugin for Unreal 5 Ultimate Gameplay Camera. This project allows you to easily and quickly add a AAA standard, dynamic third-person camera to your game. These features are smooth and non-intrusive, always prioritizing the player's input. After downloading and enabling the plugin, click on Show Plugin Content in the Content Browser. The first thing we need to do is set up our camera manager. If you already have one, just change its parent to our BP underscore UGC camera manager. Otherwise, create a new one inheriting from it. After that's done, move it to your content folder. It's a good idea to always inherit from plugin content instead of editing it directly, so the future updates don't override your changes. Now we can create our camera data asset. These are essentially instances of structs which have all the camera settings. This one will be the default one which is used when your character spawns. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but they sure make things a lot easier. Open the new camera manager and set the default camera data. You also need to get the parent function's return value here. If you already have a player controller, you don't need to create a new one. Just set its camera manager to the one we just made and make sure your game mode uses this controller. Next step is to make the character inherit from UGC pawn interface so that we can get its movement and rotation input values. If you want the camera to slowly decelerate to the angle constraints, like they do in God of War for example, you will need your look input to use the UGC underscore camera turn rate modifier. If you want to use camera dithering to hide the player, make sure that the mesh overlaps the camera channel while the capsule ignores it. We also need to open the parent material of the mesh and add the dithering function. If you can't find the function, you can simply drag and drop it from the content browser. You can do this for any type of mesh in the world as well. Just make sure that its blend mode is set to masked.
As you can read from the top error message, we forgot to disable the spring arm collision. This is important in case you want to use UGC smooth collisions instead of the default Unreal collisions. Now disable Do Collision Tests in your camera boom. As you can see, the off follow is working. So is the pitch follow. Smooth collisions are in place. And so is the dithering. You can also notice how we got rid of the hard limits on the pitch angles. The camera now eases its way into the constraints. Now let's get to the most exciting feature, the camera animations. You can use the Play Camera Animation Montage by passing in the UGC Camera Manager, the animation, and some easing settings. It's that simple. This would look better in its context, so you don't need to follow these next steps, but let's make it look cooler. Oh, and there you go. That's all you need to do. Do check out the demo project and the documentation in the links below as we go in much further detail about each feature. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop by the Discord server, where you can interact with us and the community and get asset-specific support by getting verified. You can also email us at support at auroradevs.eu or post questions on the Marketplace product page.